For a J magnitude 4.0 earthquake shook parts of the Bay Area just before 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, the quake was centered in Dublin. Joining us now. Walter Mooney, a seismologist with USGS. Uh, Dr. Mooney, thank you so much for joining us. I didn't actually feel it as I was walking to the anchor desk as uh, it happened, uh, but several colleagues said they felt their desks shaking. It was pretty light. Is that uh, fair to say? I the fault that we know very well, the Calaveras fault over in Dublin and Pleasanton. And um, uh, I felt it in Menlo Park. Uh, I was reading the paper and began to think about earthquakes and was wondering if I might have, uh, if there might have been one. So I'm a good long distance away. Let's see, Dublin to Menlo Park, um, hard to say, 25 miles. So it, it's a good shake. And these do occur. These are not unfrequent on the Calaveras Fault. Uh, definitely. I mean, I think uh, one just hit uh, yesterday, uh, just north of this one, um, pretty close as well. So uh, nothing to be concerned of in, in terms of having two so close uh, to each other on that same fault within um, such a short period of time? occur uh, sometimes together that occur in groups and uh, it's not something to be uh, surprised about uh, for your listeners who drive from highway 280 you know very well and you go from the east bay you know hayward area over 280 to get over to dublin and pleasanton you're going over a small mountain and that mountain is there because of the earthquakes that have pushed it up so this this is a well-known feature. Um, the, the pair of earthquakes is not something uh, to be greatly concerned about, but everyone should be prepared you know, for the, the magnitude seven that we know eventually will occur. Right. I mean, you said you were in Menlo Park. We're here in San Francisco looking at the USGS map. That's uh, the Did You Feel It map. We have some folks uh, down in Monterey that say they felt it uh, up north of Sacramento saying they felt it as well, Santa Rosa. So um, it, it was a good shake, but everyone's saying the same, uh, pretty much uh, light to moderate. So so it wasn't um, uh, the 7.0, as you mentioned, but it is that good reminder. I think, you know, a lot of folks don't think about being prepared uh, until it's too late. So uh, do you have any reminders for folks here uh, across the Bay Area and whoever might be might be watching about things to do to make sure we are prepared for that big one? Well, we all know how inconvenient it is when we lose power in a storm. And just can you imagine with a strong earthquake, okay. you, you may lose power not for six hours, but maybe for six days. So I think our recent, all of our recent experience with Storms have reminded us that we need water and, and backup plans for, the, uh, for a possible loss of power and other inconveniences. So you're quite right. Um, you mentioned the Calveras Fault. Obviously, that's uh, the one that this hit on. Uh, the San Andreas Fault is also one that um, a lot of us uh, get a little nervous about. That's always been a, a big talker. Um, uh, we have so many faults here in the Bay Area. As far as activity goes, would you say the Calveras is one of the most active? One of the most, but it's not the one that we're most concerned about. We're more concerned these days about the Hayward Fault because it's been a long time since it had a major event on it, 1868. So that's, uh, you know, on the order of, well, you can do the math, 140 years, um, more than 140 years. <laughs> right. So uh, it's the Hayward Fault that is, has the highest potential right at the moment. Okay, so that's the one uh, we want to be we want to be uh, cautious about or at least um, keep our eye on. Anything else that you would like to share about this quake in particular and um, what you're hearing from your uh, fellow seismologists uh, at USGS in terms of what you are looking to learn about it? Yes, well, the earthquake depth is something that uh, did not surprise us. It had a depth of about six miles. Uh, we think in terms of kilometers, so it was like 11 kilometers. And that's, that's, that's a very common depth 
for uh, these earthquakes to uh, initiate and um, propagate away from the epicenter, the hypocenter. So this looks like uh, not not a very unusual, not a very puzzling earthquake, but as you say, a very good reminder. Yeah, pretty standard uh, one for sure. Dr. Walter Mooney, seismologist with USGS, thank you so much for chatting with us tonight. We really appreciate it. You're welcome.